we were asked to perform a set of single step conversions. We're going to use a conversion from the table, write it as a ratio so that our units that we're given will cancel, leaving us with the units that we desire. So let's see how that's going to work. Here we have a relationship between pounds and ounces. We want to convert four pounds to ounces. I'm going to look in my table and I'm going to circle that my conversion is one pound is 16 ounces. So the long form for working this problem is to take four pounds times, now I'm going to write my conversion ratio as 16 ounces over one pound. So there's the relationship between ounces and pounds written as a ratio. I'm going to put four pounds over one to remind myself that this is also a ratio. Now my units of pounds will cancel. I'm going to multiply straight across. 4 times 16 is 64. My units left are ounces, so I can fill in 64 here. Part B, I want 10 yards converted to a certain number of feet. So I'm going to look in my table for a conversion here. I see 1 yard is 3 feet. So I'm going to take 10 yards and I'm going to multiply it times the conversion ratio of 3 feet is 1 yard. So my units will cancel. Remember this is really over 1, so I have 10 times 3 is 30. The units I have left are the ones that I want, which are feet. So 10 yards is equivalent to 30 feet. Looking at part C, I want to convert 2.4 pints to a certain number of cups. And I'm going to look at my relationship here that one pint is two cups. So what I'm going to do here is take 2.4 pints, and I'm going to put that over one, times my conversion ratio, two cups to one pint. So the units that I want to cancel are on opposite, top and bottom. 2.4 times 2 gives me 4.8. The units I have left are cups, so I can write that up here. So be sure when you're working these problems, when you set up your conversion ratio, the units that you want to cancel should be opposite the ones that you start with. So here we canceled pounds, here we canceled yards, here we canceled pints.